Do you have a cowlick? If so, does it restrict your choice of hairstyles that you might want to try, but you simply can't because of your cowlick? If you do have a cowlick, I promise you this video will help you with styling your hair while having a cowlick. If you don't have a cowlick and you're still choosing to watch this video because you're a supporter of mine, just know that I greatly appreciate you. As a person who has a cowlick himself, I really do understand how frustrating it is to try a new hairstyle that you really want, but your cowlick hairs just don't let you. So in this video, I'm going to show you four easy hairstyles you can use when styling your hair while working with a cowlick. Also, these are just four easy hairstyles in general too. You don't necessarily have to have a cowlick. And for the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how having a cowlick it used to be frustrating every single day for me while trying to style my hair with it to now it is not a problem at all anymore. But before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more tips in my future videos that you don't want to miss, like at all. Some of you guys might be a bit confused and never have heard of a cowlick before and are probably thinking, what? the heck is a cowlick? As said on Google, a cowlick is a lock of hair that grows in a direction different from the rest and that resists being combed flat. That is the perfect way to describe a cowlick, especially the resistance from being combed flat. That is very accurate. So everyone does have a cowlick. Yeah, including you. Even you thinking you don't, you do have a cowlick. 99% sure that everyone does have a cowlick in the crown area of their head. That's why it kind of looks like a little swirl. But this video, I'm specifically going to be talking about the exception of when you have a cowlick in the front of your hairline. And for the people that are thinking like, Yo, that's Cap. You don't have a cowlick. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're just trying to make some stuff up to make a video for views. <laughs> You don't have a cowlick. By the way, I also apologize how many times I'm going to say the word cowlick in this video. I apologize in advance. So my cowlick is right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. The hairs literally just stay up all the time. I can never comb it down. Even if I wet it and put product in it, I can never comb it down. The center separates as well. So I can never cover my forehead because my cowlick is always going to create a gap right there. When I had shorter hair when I was little, it was a lot more noticeable. But now that I have some length in my hair, it's... I mean, you can't even really tell. So the first hairstyle option to style your hair with while having a cowlick is the slick back hairstyle. The hairstyle is pretty much self-explanatory and super easy to achieve. I'm sure every guy on the planet has used this hairstyle at least once in their life. Also, I want to say that having a cowlick might even help you achieve this hairstyle. So to achieve this hairstyle, you simply just wet your hair, put some product in there. You might have to blow dry it for a better hold, then you just comb it back. And for products, might I recommend this Forte Series Hair Styling Cream. If you've seen my hair tutorials, you know that I'm a big fan of the hair styling cream. I use them with almost every hairstyle that I do. And all you gotta do is scoop out a little bit of cream with your finger, rub your palms together until the product's broken down, apply the product to your hair, then use your fingers or brush to style your hair to your desired look. I will link this in the description if you guys are interested. And be sure to use code George Adam for 10% off. I wanna thank Mr. Alex Costa himself. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch his videos as well, but I wanna thank him for letting me have this coupon code to share with you guys and for letting you all have a discount on the Forte Series website. So be sure to shop on the Forte Series website and use coupon code George Adam for 10% off. Heck yeah. Back to the video. So for this slick back hairstyle, it really isn't noticeable at all if you have a cowlick or not. And since the cowlick hairs are already going against the rest of your hairs that are on your head that are usually falling forward, when you slick it back, it's actually gonna assist you because it's already pretty much doing that already. Super easy. If you have a cowlick, try it out. If you don't, still try it out. Super easy hairstyle. So hairstyle option number two, easy to style even when you have a cowlick, is basically like a man bun or just to tie it up in a ponytail or even a braid if you want to. Since your hair is tied back, the front of your hairline will look the same as the slick back hairstyle and they both sort of hide or camouflage the front cowlick in the front of your hairline. Also with this hairstyle specifically, obviously your hair has to be long. Also you could even just wear your hair down and it'll still be hard to notice immediately or even at all that you have a cowlick. Since typically most girls have longer hair, there are plenty of celebrities that actually have cowlicks in the front of their hairline, but it's very easy to miss because of the length of their hair. So with that being said, whether you grow it out and tie it up or simply just grow it out, this is another easy and simple way to work with your cowlick. Now the only downside of this hairstyle is obviously if you do have short hair and you want to grow it out, it's the number of months that it takes to grow out your hair and getting past the awkward stage. But I do have a video of tips on how to get past the awkward stage, so be sure to check that out. Now the third option is actually the easiest of them all and that is just to simply buzz cut your hair like I said earlier the longer your hair is the more unnoticeable your cowlick will be so when you flip that to the other extreme when you go super short like a buzz cut that will also have the same effect of making your cowlick more unnoticeable because it's so short and the only reason why I say that this is the easiest option is because you literally don't have to worry about styling your hair at all you could even go completely bald if you want to and that'll obviously hide the cowlick 
completely. While the plus side of this hairstyle is to never having to worry about styling at all, the downside is the frequent visits to the barber if you do wish to keep it that short. And believe it or not, I myself would actually buzz my hair all the time from 6th to 10th grade. And it was a big time saver because I didn't have to style my hair before I went to school in the morning. But I also want to add that in the cowlick area, as I said in the beginning of the video, your hair tends to look less dense or less full in that area. And it's easier to see your scalp. So when I used to buzz my hair when I was little, my hairline would actually look kind of crooked. But it actually wasn't. It's only because the cowlick and the hair density there makes it look that way. So if you have a barber and he lines you up with an edge up in the front and you have a cowlick there, it might look crooked, it might not. But if you don't have a cowlick and your barber does you dirty with a slanted hairline, you might want to consider a new barber. And so for the last and final, I say the best for last, easy hairstyle to do when you have a cowlick is obviously the middle part. And yes, I might be completely biased by saying that the middle part is the best hairstyle, but the main thing that I want to get across to you guys is that if you have a cowlick, it's best to just go with it. Since the cowlick hairs are so stubborn and it's almost impossible to style it in a hairstyle that it doesn't want to go, my advice is to style it in a way that it does want to go and not to fight it. So in my experience, I always wanted Zayn Malik's hairstyle. Ever since I saw it, I was like, yo, I want that hair. Arguably, he was the best singer in One Direction. Don't fight me on that. That just it's kind of facts. So I did achieve his hairstyle, but it took me about 45 minutes every day, maybe an hour to style it that way. And the reason it took so long was because I had to go against the hairs on my cowlick and that always just took forever to do then i wanted that messy french hairstyle that every guy on tiktok had i achieved that hairstyle too but because of my cowlick it also took a lot of effort to style it in that way as well because again it went against my cowlick also even though i did achieve these hairstyles none of them really lasted all day because of my cowlick then i tried the middle part hairstyle and everything changed all right i'm being dramatic but with this particular hairstyle i didn't have to fight with my cowlick hairs at all in fact my cowlick made it much easier for me to achieve this hairstyle i barely put in any effort compared to what i used to do years ago my hair just naturally creates this hairstyle and because of my cowlick it stays in place literally all day long i once despised this guy but now he is my greatest ally and he made means a great deal to me. So my biggest takeaway from this video for you guys is to not fight with your cowlick and go against it. Rather style it in a way that it does want to go and work with it because if you go against it, you probably won't win that fight. So just join forces and become one. So with all that being said, I hope this video did help a lot of you guys out that struggle styling your hair while you have a cowlick. And if you don't have a cowlick and you're still here, just know that I greatly appreciate you and you're a great man or lady. So be sure to like and subscribe because it does help the channel and I could use all the help I can get. And be sure to hit that notification button so that you're notified every time I upload a video. You don't want to miss these videos, I'm telling you. So be kind, keep working on yourself, you're greatly appreciated, and I'll see you all in the next one. I got some pretty cool lights now, looks pretty cool.